Hey guys! Since the first missile was created, these impressive aircraft have earned a complex reputation. In a scientist's hands, it's a device to open roads to new worlds. But in a soldier's hands, it's a deadly weapon of mass destruction. We've tried to make a list of the fastest missiles. You don't need to be a military expert to understand the simple truth that speed bears a great significance for ballistic missiles since that number significantly increases the chances to delivering its deadly warheads to their destination. Since most of the numbers are classified, we had to gather our information bit by bit. Our list will begin with a missile that is the fastest of so-called mid-range missiles, the Soviet R-12. The R-12 was the first strategic complex using storage components for fuel, and that had completely autonomous targeting thanks to modifications, including the lack of an interstitial door in the oxidizer tank and several peculiarities in the design. The missile could reach speeds of Mach 10, 8,500 miles per hour, with an initial mass of 47 tons. The R-12 missile was designed to carry a thermonuclear warhead weighing about 3,500 pounds with a power of 1 to 2 megatons for a distance of up to 1,250 miles. In October 1962, a group of missiles including R-12s was placed in Cuba which led to the Cuban Missile Crisis, which put the world on the verge of nuclear war. The R-12 was also used as a space rocket carrier to carry small satellites with military purposes. Five three T six Cupid. This is the only non-ballistic missile on today's list, but it's just as fast because it was built to counter missiles. It began to be used in 1995. The anti-missile Cupid could reach speeds of Mach 17, 12,900 miles per hour, with an initial mass of 33 tons. Some sources say 45 tons. Its max firing range was 217 miles. The device was made back in 1989 and designed to destroy maneuverable targets and hypersonic aircraft. According to some messages, the missile's expiration date had already come. So, on December 20, 2011, at the Seri Sagan training facility in Kazakhstan, a controlled launch with the goal of increasing the usage time was executed. Also, on June 21, 2016, a test launch with the goal of the anti-missile close-range Russian anti-missile defense system was successful. The goal of the launch was to confirm that tactical and technical specifications of the anti-missile systems located in the Russian space and air forces. The SM-65 Atlas Scientific developments for this weapon began in 1951 as part of the classified MX-1593 program. Also, it was the first intercontinental ballistic missile to be used in the world and was the US's main nuclear weapon until 1964. It was then quickly replaced by the new, more advanced Minuteman missile. The missile's first successful launch was in 1957. The missile could reach speeds of 13,000 miles per hour, and it had a maximum flight range of 6,300 miles, with an initial mass of 118 tons. It served as the future base to create the Atlas rocket family that has been in use since 1959. The UGM Trident 133 Trident II, an American three-stage ballistic missile designed specifically to be launched from nuclear submarines. It was created as part of the Trident program during the Cold War, with the goal of creating an alternative to the Soviet ballistic missiles. Interestingly, this missile was made by a group of scientists including Ukrainian Bogdan Taras Gnetnik. Now the name is becoming clear. The Ukrainian word for trident is trizub, three-tooth, provided by its creator. The missile began being used in 1990. In 1995, 
it began to be used by the UK Royal Navy. The missile can reach speeds of about 13,050 miles per hour, with a maximum range of 7,020 miles, at an initial mass of 59 tons. The missile has a main part with individually targeted blocks, equipped with thermonuclear warheads with 475 and 100 kilotons of power. Thanks to its high accuracy, it could effectively destroy small, highly protected targets like deep bunkers and ICBM underground launch silos. The carrier of these missiles is the Ohio-class submarines, where each one carries 24 missiles. As of 2009, the U.S. Navy had 14 of these subs. The missiles are loaded into silos when they are battle-ready. After the submarine comes off duty, they are removed and stored in a special location. The UGM-133 Trident II missile is still used by the U.S. and U.K. navies. The RSM-56 Bulava is the fastest ballistic missile using solid fuel. It was developed by the Soviet Union specifically to be placed on the Project 955 submarines. The development was approved in 1988. In 2018, a D-30 complex with RSM-30 Bulava ICBMs began to be used by the Russian Navy. The missile has an initial mass of 36.8 tons and can reach speeds of 13,400 miles per hour with a total flight range of 5,800 miles. The R-7 Soviet ICBM was created in 1956. It was the first ICBM in the world with a warhead that hit intercontinental range. The missile can reach speeds of 15,200 miles per hour. An entire rocket family was created based on the R-7 that were largely used to conquer space. Many cosmonauts, including Yuri Gagarin, were sent to space using R-7 rockets. The R-36M Satan is a Soviet strategic missile system. The Satan is a heavy two-stage ICBM. Missiles of this type are the most powerful among ICBMs that have ever been made by humans. The missile can reach speeds of 15,900 miles per hour, and it can fly over 10,000 miles. The missile also weighs an unbelievable 211 tons. Designs for the missile began in 1969 in Dnipro, Ukraine. It began to be used in 1975. Russians started scrapping these missiles in 2018 since the Satan's engines were serviced by Ukrainian specialists every two years until 2014. Due to unknown reasons, the Ukrainians refused to do the work and stopped delivering replacement parts necessary for the planned change. The Topol M project. The Topol M is a Russian missile system that became the first ICBM whose development was finished in Russia after the USSR's collapse. This missile's unique cruise engine lets it reach speeds of 16,330 miles per hour, much faster than previous missiles in the class. Additionally, it has a maximum flight range of 7,500 miles with an initial mass of 46.5 tons. It began to be used in 2000 and became Russia's main missile power. In 2011, Russia's Ministry of Defense declined to purchase Topol M missile systems in favor of the more developed ICBM RS-24 Yars. DF-5A the DF-5A, or Dongfeng RA, Dongfeng means Eastern Wind in Chinese, is a Chinese development that has been in use since 1981. This ICBM is capable of reaching speeds of 16,500 miles per hour, with an initial mass of 183 tons. 
Its key difference is its very high accuracy. The missile hits its target within half a mile and can fly for over 7,500 miles. The DF-5A only needs 60 minutes for preparation and launch. The Minuteman LGM-30G is the world's first solid-fuel ICBM and is one of the heaviest made in history. It is named after North American colonial militia. It has been in service since 1961, and its third generation has been used since 1970. In its final phase, this missile reaches speeds of 17,670 miles per hour, making it the fastest in the world. It can fly 8,100 miles with an initial mass of 35 tons. Currently, it is the only ICBM that is land-based in the U.S., and it's the fastest of its type. Well, that's our list of the fastest missiles that can cause death and destruction. However, probably no one knows how fast it will change. The military-industrial complex spends countless billions on development every year. And it's possible that our list uh, could be completely different by tomorrow. And thanks to nuclear engines, a missile really could have almost an unlimited operational range, be capable of flying at supersonic speeds, and even overcome modern anti-missile defense systems. Well, here's to hoping that missiles like this will only be seen in cartoons and video games. Be sure to leave a like if you agree, and let me know what you learned in the comments. And uh, that's all for today. We'll see you again next time.